Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about transit, sun, sextile, or trying one's natal Uranus. Um, this could manifest in creativity, life, action, drive, motivation, and focus. This could be in harmony with your goals and aspirations. Let's say if you have your natal Uranus and Sagittarius, those goals and aspirations may include uh, sports or religion, uh, philosophy. It may be working with horses, um, maybe doing something with advertising or publishing. As an example, the natal Uranus is in Scorpio, and maybe doing something with locksmithing, psychology, the occult, which includes astrology, or working in a death profession, such as a funeral director or mortician. Uranus is also connected with friendship, so this could be also a time where your life is in harmony with that. This is a time where you have a better opportunity to integrate your friends into your life more so than usual. Um, it's a generally a time where you won't be quite as uh, distracted by career endeavors. I mean, you might still be working during this time, but your schedule in general may be such where you can allow these people into your life more so than usual and also ability to have just general focus and attention um, on these people at this time if the natal uranus is in capricorn say it could be older you know people uh, older friendships and ones that are very professional or career uh, oriented uh, responsible as an example and uranus is also uh, associated with groups and clubs and organizations so it can be a time where it's more you know, of an opportunity to take action in these matters if you wanted to join a group and integrate yourself into one you know ingratiate yourself with others and, and it's really a more of a, a better opportunity to do so um, at this time and have a little diversion or distraction in doing so taking action in these matters is could be much easier at this time more so than usual now Granted, this transit only lasts for about five days, but it's still a good opportunity to do so. If you were held up or had some you know, obstructions or obstacles to work through previously and weren't really able to get out and, you know, and in, integrate with maybe some friends or you know, if you're part of some group club or organization, this could be more of an opportune time to do so. Now, Uranus is also associated with our future. So this could be a time where you may be more driven and motivated um, in terms of going after your future um, at this time. Again, with little impediment, little obstructions or distractions and being able to take action at this time in doing so. And it's really um, a time to, I mean, remember that the sun is connected with creativity. I think this transit could manifest in really understanding and being cognizant since the sun is also the conscious, being able to understand that you can create your own future at this time. Um, and it's a good, again, a good relationship between the transit sun and the natal Uranus. So this could be a very opportune time to do so. Now, another thing, though, is, is that Uranus, anatomically speaking, is connected with the ankles, the shins, the calves, the nerves, and circulation. So this could be a time, if you have any of those is physical related issues that I said are connected with Uranus, this could be more of a time to put more of a focus on this at this time more so uh, than usual and take care of these uh, and take care of these matters and since the sun is about our energy and our vitality and the physical body it's more of a time where you can be better able to work through this any problems that you may have what I just described that are connected with uh, Uranus um, so anyway um well Uranus is also connected with society so it might be a time where you feel you can blend in more with society or more might be more in agreement with what you know what whatever you feel society is about you might be less critical of them at the summer being able to focus and understand about you know, maybe society a little bit better uh, more so than usual so understanding whatever good aspects or bad aspects may be connected um, with it uh, at this time and you're more driven also be a time to I mean Uranus is connected with freedom and independence and it can be a time 
you know, if you're, you know, in a situation where you're at home, you know, the son is connected with the biological father, and it may be a time, um, since you're talking about a good relationship, a harmonious aspect between the sun, the transit sun, and natal Uranus, it can be a time where you may be able to, more apt if you need to free yourself from a situation. Um, from the biological father it doesn't mean that this person was being negative toward you It may just mean that you just are striving for freedom and independence It can be more better opportunity to do so at this time or just simply be able to put more of a focus and attention on freedom and independence more so than usual um, so anyway Uranus is also connected with what is unorthodox so it may be a time if you're able, you know, if there's some way you're doing something in some you know, unorthodox fashion, it, it may go over a little bit better now more so than usual since you are talking about a positive aspect. If you're doing something, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying, you know, perform open heart surgery with a ballpoint pen like that person was talking about somebody did on a, on a commercial or, you know, maybe going, um, you know, taking a coil spring, you know, out of a car with a hammer and screwdriver. Well, that could be a possibility, but you understand what I'm saying. If there's some, you know, different way that you're doing something, it's more more of a chance to be able for it to be accepted. If you're, if, say, if you're in a situation, you know, son could be connected with authorities, superiors, and dominant male figures. And if you're doing something at your job, that might be a method that might be somewhat unique. It might be more acceptable at this time, more so than usual. And Uranus is also associated with innovation and ingenuity. So this is also a time where you might be able to put more of your focus and attention on doing something innovative um, at this uh, at this time, and really not being you know, having little diversions, distractions at this time, or interruptions as far as actually uh, doing it and also that could apply to computers as well if you're doing something say if you're on your, your computer you're defragging it or you're you know just online in general um, you know, whether it's talking to people on social media or if you're you know trying to do something maybe you have a virus on it that you're trying to take care of this is a time where you're more apt to put your focus and attention on it more so than usual and have a little diversion or distraction in doing it. Uranus is also connected with astrology so if you're doing something astrological or something with astronomy this is the time where you may be able to really be very creative um, in the, these endeavors. It's about the astrology you, know, you can do you know things that maybe you didn't think you were going to be able to do and Again, this is something where you have more you know, the energy and vitality to do with this time more so uh, than usual. So now if there's something in your life at this time that's very erratic and sporadic or it's something where you have a lot of disruptions in it, this is a time to really you can home in on it and not and try to understand why you know what's going on why is this happening and maybe find some kind of solution for it. Uh, the sun again is about our focus and attention and it's also um, really a, a time where you could be more driven to take care of a problem like this more so than usual if there's something say the natal uranus is in the fourth house it could be an unstable home life that you may be trying to take care of and this is a time where you could put more of your attention and focus on it more so than usual and also um this could be a time to uh, another way this transit may manifest it could be a time where the biological father and children which is the connected with the sun uh, may favor your goals and aspirations. Um, let's say, for example, if the uh, natal Uranus is in Libra in the fifth house, it could be doing something with tennis or gymnastics, which is Libra, which, uh, which is also a sport, which is the fifth house. Um, and also, too, this can be in a time where you could have simply the right amount of energy and vitality, which is the sun for group-related matters, which is connected with Uranus. Let's say, for example, if your natal Uranus is an Aquarius, it might be doing something with astronomy or astrology or, or something with computers or innovation, um, which is Aquarius. And, and of course, you know, groups are associated with Uranus. 
And it could also be a time where it could be very auspicious for taking action, which is the sun in freedom and independence, freedom related matters. Uranus is connected with freedom. Um, let's say, hold on a moment, people. Now, let's say, for example, if the natal Uranus is in Capricorn in the fourth house, um, it could be getting freedom from a very restricting or depressing, which is Capricorn, home, home life, which, of course, the fourth house is associated with the home. Now, it could also be a time where you're more readily able to focus, which is the sun, on your friendships, which, of course, is associated with Uranus. If Uranus is in Sagittarius, as an example, it could be friendships that are with foreigners, people that are publishers, advertisers, people involved in sports and athletics as some examples. Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, people, Edwin Leonard saying, stay well.